Local business people are exhibiting at six Expo in Cape Town this weekend. Among the 36 yes. stands are sexual health organizations, pole dancing lessons, apparel lines, and even a massage chair brand. The two-day sex positive event includes educational workshops focusing on intimacy between partners, sensuality, and consent. Our reporter Erin Bates is attending and joins us live now from Cape Town. Erin, good to see you again. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but there is education amid the fun. There certainly is, Timbekile. Uh, one could say this is a feast for the eyes. Uh, everything from scantily clad performers to people completely covered in black latex. And amongst the entertainment, the food on offer, including uh, sort of naughty nibbles, which are falafel, uh, there are also those more education-driven uh, stands and indeed professionals here at the Sex Expo. Uh, we spoke to a woman earlier who gave us her take on the event and what it means, let's just have a listen to her thoughts. To remove the criminal charges uh, because the sex worker right now currently in South Africa is criminalary. So many sex workers are identified as criminals. Two, we want to separate the, crimi the criminals away from the sex worker because everyone is blaming the industry. We want to identify the criminals and let the law take custody on the criminals. And secondly, we want it to be registered as an occupation so that the people can respect it and recognize it as the occupation and the sex workers benefit from the labor laws like any other employees. And Erin, you've also got members of the public who are there and workers. What's their experience? In fact, uh, that bite we've just heard around uh, the legislation in South Africa on sex work. Uh, in different jurisdictions, of course, sex work means different things. In South Africa, uh, it is still criminalized, and there are some legislative amendments which are in the works. And interesting timing, considering this sex-positive event is going on. Here's that woman I mentioned earlier who is amongst members of the public, many of them very curious and here to learn at the Sex Expo. Own yourself. Sex Expo an education into a revelation into yourself. Stop hiding. Look in. Look in the eyes. Your eyes. So, Mangal Tand, Izala, SCTICC, Bazog Bolisa Kut, Umzimba, Pingondo, Ian Zaganja. And lastly, Erin, where you're standing now is in the exhibition hall. What's happening in there? Well, a moment ago, Timbekile, there was some loud wax as some spanking was going on. Uh, we're going to turn to more uh, serious matters uh, with Lenise Hendricks. She works with Marie Stokes. They have a stall here amongst those 36 vendors. Uh, Lenise, I wanted to get a sense of your work and why you've decided uh, to be here at the Sex Expo. Okay, I'm Lenise Hendricks. I would just like to tell you a little bit more of what I do at Marie Stokes. So I am a call center agent. My job is to secure that you have a booking with um, various services that we do offer. Yes, and in the line of work that you're in, you've been in this for almost 14 years. What really stands out for you in terms of your experience and the knowledge you're sharing around reproductive health and sexual choice? Okay, that's a good question. So basically, as a mother, as a sister, um, I feel good bringing the word out for our young women out there. There's a lot of ladies that uh, don't know about Marty Stowe's, but helping them with family planning, we do offer various services like pap smears, uh, breast exam, well woman packages, breast termination of pregnancy, just to have a safe service and so that they can feel comfortable in whatever they are doing. So it's just about bringing up the word. Lenise Hendricks there, Tebekile, just to give you a sense of what's happening here in the auditorium, it really is quite a range of offerings, everything uh, from family planning, reproductive health to apparel, you'll see on the left the pole dancing studio set up here, where uh, members of the public are giving themselves a will, literally speaking, uh, also a range of products, of course these include massage oils, um, various toys. Uh, here are those massage chairs we mentioned earlier on air. At the bar on the right, they're actually serving oysters, which are well known as an aphrodisiac. There is champagne, 
The Sex Expo is an 18s only and above event. It's currently on in Cape Town and will be in Kaoting in October of next year. And we're now going to speak with someone at Partners for Sexual Health, if we can find him. Uh, Partners for or in Sexual Health is a national project to provide sexual health knowledge and information uh, to members of the public. Now, we were going to speak to Samuel Alobwede, who's the national coordinator, but some of his colleagues are here working in communities around the Cape. Sir, your name? My name is Mamsi Paltain. And uh, we uh, understand that Partners in Sexual Health, you're active in the Cape, you're also active around South Africa. Tell us about the work that you're doing in community. So Partners in Sexual Health is an organization, it is a non-organization uh, NGO. So what we are doing, we're working on sexual reproductive health and rights, you know. So what we have, we have variety of programs, as you could see our banner is there, that indicate that we work with youth, we work with teen parents, we work with out of school, we work with um, victim empowerment, women with people that have been maybe being abused. We also have like our PSH radio station. So with the PSH radio station, we give information out to the young people, how they just engage in them and allow a platform for them, you know, because sometimes we, we can't speak up as young people, but what basically would happen with us is with the radio station, we actually allow a platform to empower through knowledge. So this is part of sexual health. As you can see, there's a lot of condoms, we have penises, we have vaginas, we have a pleasure bag like when we speak penis we speak penis when we speak anal we speak anal you know so we name it as, as the young people would understand it now that is quite a delicate thing obviously it's important to have knowledge and to be able to make informed and responsible choices why was it important for you to be here at the sex expo yeah so what the importance of this is actually to create a safe space also you understand for young people and people are having sex as young people now people fall pregnant if we look at the states if we look at our pregnancy if we look at HIV and AIDS if we look at STIs so it's why it's important for us to educate and empower young people to make sure to use a condom you understand, to make sure to have safe sex, to make sure that you reach out for family planning as a young kid. Because if we look at sex, the man said sex, you know, but the thing is what we do, we try to prevent at least a pregnancy, we try to prevent uh, HIV and AIDS and STI, and that's what we are doing as an organization. Thanks so much for your time. Temekile, important obviously in the midst of all of this uh, curiosity, excitement, sex positive uh, learning, you can say, and exploration going on at the Sex Expo. But there are also organizations like this. I know uh, that uh, partners in, um, what is it? <laughs> partners in sexual health are active around the Cape. They do a lot of community workshops and talks, and they are here sharing that knowledge as well in the midst of uh, the spanking and uh, the pole dancing and everything else that is going on at the Sex Expo. Aaron Bates, thank you very much for that. Aaron is at the Sex Expo in Cape Town this afternoon.